I met Arvel in the summer of 1941. He was singing with the Gospel Quartet and a friend of mine knew them and she said, would you like a date with one of the guys in the quartet? And I said, yes. So she made arrangements for us to have a date. But she said also, you know, you probably will only get one date because he has a lot of girlfriends. So we went on our first date. I cannot remember what we did or anything, but it must have been pretty good because he asked me for a second date. And at the second date, he said, I love you. And he said, I want to marry you. World War II came on and uh, we got married. Arvel was off to the Navy and I went to Tulsa to work at Douglas Aircraft Company until Arvel came home. In 1950, Arvel graduated from TU and got a job at Flint Steel as a personnel director. And through this, there was a man that was a bivocational pastor at uh, one of the rural churches, and he asked Arvel if he would come and direct music at the church. We wanted to be part of the community, so uh, we purchased land, built a house, and it was big enough that we could do what we wanted to do for the church. This youth director had come to the house. We showed him all of the property, how we liked it, what was going on, you know, this is ours and all. And he looked at me and he said, what would you do if God took it away from you? And without hesitation, I said, it's his. He can have it. For 43 years, we were able to use that property for ministry, for God's work. And we knew that we had to downsize. So we contacted the Baptist Foundation, talked to Dan Allen, and he told us that we could give our property to the Baptist and that it would further causes that the Baptists had here in Oklahoma. My thing is, if I can encourage somebody to do something that will help any, anybody to become a Christian, or if you can, can distribute it to the point of that the, that money is gonna work for God, that's what I want.